Wrong way. Urban way. explorers Matt Classic. and Andy from the YouTube Classic. channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explored the abandoned Mossley Manor in Liverpool, England. The manor has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth who passed away in the home in 1889. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mossley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mossley Manor home. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. The care home was shut down in 2015. For obvious reasons, many claim that the Mossley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But Matt and Andy from Finders Beepers are certainly not ghost hunters or even necessarily believers in the paranormal. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mossley Manor and cracking a few jokes along the way. All right, so you've just come in to a sort of where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. You didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How can... Psychopath coming in. No, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too far. <laughs> this is like the entranceway. Not that we can see it because our Andy's bonds. Even though the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, truly chilling, and suddenly things just aren't so funny anymore. It's because we went down to the base when he's thrown me. It totally thrown me. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello? I'm going up. As Matt films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or something who seems to be watching them. The figure immediately walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head up the stairs to investigate. But they went that way and there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming his Victorian home? Could it be the apparitioner? Let me know what you think. You can check out Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel, Finders Beepers, History Seekers. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok user talk. Chips and Chicken shared a strange video. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in California. One night, something triggers the building's alarm. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that, as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. That's pretty good. How can we do that? Keep forgetting about it. This looks like she's floating, Bob. Oh, God, that gives me the creeps. Yep. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. TikTok user Chips and Chicken is baffled by the footage. She says that all of the men who work in this building are elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this. So is it real? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user, your mom's undies. <laughs> Let's just take a second for the giggles to pass. All right. Uh, anyway, she claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or TV. 
But when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. The family claims that they have been tormented by frequent paranormal activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment. But they say they've never captured anything like this before. What terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands, can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification of captured movement caught by their security camera, they say they immediately fled the apartment to stay at their parents' home. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com to wake the dead. Popular Jordanian livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is back with another terrifying investigation as he travels to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. The house is said to be haunted by a dark spirit or djinn. As Hassan explores, he records everything live for his Snapchat followers. Soon, he begins to hear a very chilling sound. في حد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الذي يضر مع اسمه شايف الأرض في السماء والسميع العليم بسم الله الله أكبر بسم الله الله أكبر Hassan sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house as it darts back inside Hassan runs to the building but the figure has disappeared but whatever is roaming the property seems to be getting even closer. Again, Hassan runs as fast as he can, only to find nothing. He's beginning to get a little spooked, but he continues on. And then things get downright chilling. The terrifying scream becomes ear piercingly loud, and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the sound, but he painfully stubs his toe against a piece of cement. The room appears to be completely empty as Hassan checks his injured toe. Then, out of nowhere, the intense screaming is back, and now it seems to be right where he's standing. Hassan is frightened, but keeps filming for his livestream audience. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Hassan 
لا 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 اخوان لا لا تعبت 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 اه اه As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he points the camera towards himself to show his injured neck, a horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. That's when Hassan has finally had enough. He decides to just get out of there. So did Hassan Barbar capture a malicious djinn or spirit live on camera? Or? Is it all effects and careful editing? Uh, As always, you decide. Editing in <laughs> go, go. You can find more creepy videos of Hassan's adventures over on his YouTube channel, Hassan Barbar. Follower. This next video was sent in by a Nuke's Top 5 viewer. He says that his uncle used to work in a rental store. One day, as he was walking in the door, he felt as if someone or something firmly touched him on the back. He looked around, but no one there. But when he checked the store's security footage, he was shocked to the core. Sorry, dude. I can't believe that happened, dude. Just something can touch me, dude. And it's on camera. Get that person behind me, dude. Look at the mask. Now watch. Touches me. Gone. Gone, dude. Look. I'm like, what the f <laughs> Oh my god, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm looking for penny. <laughs> and then look, now I'm like. Now, normally I would say that what you see on the footage is simply caused by a common camera compression glitch, but the guy's reaction is just not so easy to explain. The man looks around in confusion and it seems that he truly believes that someone just touched him, even though there's no one there. So could this strange mist that seems to follow him be something paranormal? Let me know down in the comments off the air. Antonis Vlahos is a paranormal investigator from the Greek YouTube channel Herfusikes Drastiriotites, which in English translates to paranormal activities. Antonis says that he was sent multiple reports from townspeople about the strange things happening in a quiet and mostly abandoned mountain village in Greece. The locals claim that one day, some time ago, something strange and unexplained appeared in the sky above the town. Some call it a, quote, thing, and some describe it as an ominous glow. Since the creepy incident, the locals claim that they experience non-stop unexplained phenomena inside their homes. They say that they feel like they are being watched and can't sleep because whenever they try to get some rest, they get the grotesquely odd sensation of worms crawling on their feet. The activity has gotten so intense that almost all of the villagers decided to leave the town for good. The very few inhabitants left are still looking for answers. Antonis Vlahos is skeptical about the strange reports, but agrees to travel to the small mountain town to investigate. When he and his cameraman arrive, they discover that many of the town's homes are indeed abandoned. They decide to spend the night inside one of these abandoned homes to try and capture some of the reported strange phenomena on camera. As they explore the abandoned house, they begin to get the feeling that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. Μάλλον είναι αυτοί που θα μένουν εδώ στο σπίτι κάποιος από αυτούς ή θα είναι ε, το οικογενειακό του ζέντρου. Furniture and electronics are left behind in the house, but strangest of all, even family photos are left scattered everywhere. It appears that the former occupants left in such a rush that they didn't even have time to pack away their precious family keepsakes. Later that night, Antonis and his cameraman decide to lay down for a rest but they leave their cameras recording just in case. 
Just That's when they days. capture something downright chilling. Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Πλάγα Δεν Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Αλλά κατά τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Antonis jolts up and calls out to his cameraman. They both hear a very creepy sound coming from somewhere inside a nearby cabinet. They discover it's a radio. radio. But the radio isn't plugged into any power source, and the antique receiver doesn't even have a compartment for batteries. Suddenly, the radio just stops playing, and Antonis and his cameraman are baffled by what they have just witnessed. Eventually, they decide to lay down for a rest once again. It didn't. Εγώ ακόμα ακούω ήχους μέσα αυτή τη στιγμή. Εντάξει, ήταν ότι πιο δυνατό έχω ζήσει. Δεν μην βρήκα να λέγει το πιο ανατροχιαστικό έχω ζήσει. Πρώτα εγώ δεν μπαίνω. Είναι τα πράγματα πώς θα τα πάρουμε. Θα τα πες. Ε, το πρωί. Θα πάρω τουλάχιστον κάποια πράγματα ρε φίλε, γιατί δεν γίνεται. Έχουμε... Ωραία. Έχει χάμος πάνω, τόσα πράγματα. Εντάξει, δεν έχω ζήσει πιο ανατροχιαστικό ε, περιστατικό. No less than three different cameras are recording when suddenly the whole house starts to shake. The family photos fly into the air and a chair is thrown across one of the house's rooms. The terrified team runs outside to safety, leaving all of their equipment inside. Antonis explains, are the stories about the abandoned town true? Over on the YouTube channel, Per Fusikes Drastereotypes. For updates and cri- týkot v životoch, ale proste potom tu je Paranormal Activity Channel, ktorý má 60 videí s duchom. 60. 